Are you on a constant lookout for a promising crypto projects? My independent reviews can help you find them. Today we are going to talk about Constellation DAG. In the upcoming 15 minutes I am going to elaborate what DAG is, how strong the team behind it is, what the white paper says, what the price action of the token shows, how good the community is and of course I won't forget to express my critical opinion. Without further ado, let's start. What is Constellation DAG? Constellation is a platform that serves as layer zero architecture for your own blockchain built on it. Constellation is a directed acyclic graph and therefore should be considered the fifth generation project. It uses unique reputation based consensus. DAG has no fees and it's optimized and secured by mathematical proofs. Now, let's talk about the team building the project. Constellation was founded by five people. By Ben Jorgensen, Benjamin Diggles, Matthias Goldman, Wyatt Meldman Flock and Altif Brown. Let's now go through all five of them, starting with CEO Ben Jorgensen. Ben is a serial entrepreneur and has helped to establish various companies throughout his career, including very interesting spiritual meditation oriented platform Osho.tv. To this day, spirituality seems to be his forte. I don't know, believe in yourself, man. I've doubled down, tripled down. On, on myself and like that that tends to be my my game and I'm like I know, I know what I know and not everybody's going to believe in you and they're going to try to make you make sure you don't believe in yourself he is not only a motivational leader but also strategic decision maker why don't we use reputation and data observations uh, to decide how to organize clusters of data uh, and then use machine learning and algorithms to best select the right node cluster to validate certain uh, transactions. I believe involvement of AI in crypto is the next big thing. Benjamin Diggles is CSO in Constellation and has a rich background of business development and marketing. You're on a roll, man. It's amazing. Um, call me butter, because I'm on a roll. Uh, he is one of the most articulate speakers in the blockchain industry. Like in this instance. How much capital do you have left from the ICO, from the 33 million? He got a question that he wasn't willing to answer. So he talked for five minutes. And that uh, has, been a, has been a road. Uh, you know, I'm very proud to say it's funny because I get on calls with people. I'm like, hey, one of our first things we're proud of is that we've been in business for three years and we're still in business on like 95% of other blockchain programs. Yet not answering the question, but satisfying the inquirer nonetheless. Thank you. Yeah, it was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Wyatt Meldman Flock is CTO in Constellation and has a four years of engineering experience. What Ethereum does is that it created something called a VM, um, which can, you know, perform actions within some kind of a sandbox environment. He might come across as slightly disrespectful. Now, the Ethereum people have absolutely no fucking idea how to build a distributed system. Or even arrogant. They didn't have degrees, they didn't have a fucking, any idea how even like the most basic fucking scalable architecture works. Although, so did, what he like, says you know, actually uh, makes sense to me. Fucking, if we wanted to just create like an app, right? Like just like a Twitter clone. And maybe a Twitter clone where you can vote or share evidence about facts about shit, right? We literally would only need the linked list data structure. As I think that the crypto in the form that we know today is not going to survive the upcoming five to 10 years. The concept of a smart contract isn't going to exist in 10 years uh, because of this. If you're still building dApps, just like get a new job or start looking at DAGs. <laughs> <laughs> Matthias Goldman is CCO and has 12 plus years of experience being coach and psychotherapist coaching German Fortune 500 company managers. Wowzer, I think that's very interesting. And I also think that's where many of his financial ties come from as he seems to be the guy who got majority of DAX funding 
back in 2017. We want to give you 500,000, a million, a million, a million, five million, 10 million. Um, and we just started jumping on the call. Matias started jumping on the call. He flew out to a pl to play a place to meet people. Altif Brown is a head of community in Constellation and he has an experience as community manager. He worked on a number of places prior to Constellation. However, he never worked anywhere more than 14 months, which I find a red flag actually. However, he is in DAC since the beginning, which is five years and counting. Behind the scenes, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, we fight. We fight like brothers. It's fascinating to see the variety of team dynamics between these five people. Now, there's times we don't always see eye to eye, but... There seems to be both tension. Let's not talk about how we had founder disputes in the past. And relief. We also have had many founder resolutions. It reminds me a little bit of Ethereum back in the old days. It seemed like the team members had been close to falling out of the project or even the project bankrupting itself. Yet, as it turns out, they've come a long way since then. There's something a little bit different about us. There's some at least genuine sense of authenticity um, to us and our real beings. The paper begins with the overview of Constellation's key features. So let's go through it together. There is horizontal scaling, which means that the more nodes join the network, the quicker the network becomes. Ease of adoption is because the developers need a low learning curve to leverage DAC technologies and build on it. A big initiative for us uh, is making it extremely easy for developers to build various applications and tap into our network. The platform has improved security as organizations can decide what data is stored on their own parachain. Parachains, I've just said parachains. It's a simple form of blockchain, attaching to the security provided by a global protocol rather than producing its own. Gossip protocol. Each transaction is not sent to all nodes as it is in traditional blockchain projects, but instead each node collects data from different parts of the network, combines them together, signs them, and then gossips them to its neighbors. The consensus of Constellation is also unique. They call it Proof of MIM, but it evolved into Proof of Reputable Observation, PRO. There is a reputation of the signatory nodes. The network uses machine learning algorithm to determine that reputation. We want to figure out how to create some kind of latent consciousness amongst our nodes so that they're aware of each other and can create some kind of like a, a meta behavior in order to you know react to um, you know kind of a problem. I've never seen yet involvement of learning AI within the consensus. DAG is language agnostic allowing developers to create their own blockchain with its own logic and its own language and provide cross-chain atomic swap. DAG has high inclusivity. Paper states clearly that there is a place for everyone in Constellation. Everybody can be a node, whether you have a high-end computer station or a smartphone. Their community portal called Orion is a universe where the team, users, developers and whole community get to interact and get rewarded for valuable contributions. In the future, Orion aspires to become a developer marketplace even, where developers can monetize their applications they have built. The data is the new oil and a few companies in the fo uh, Fortune 10 are really taking this very seriously. They're owning and buying up that entire stack. Then the paper goes deep into business development and also provides a go-to-market strategy, which is apparently well thought of at Constellation. And so we got a letter of support signed by the Secretary of Defense office. Let that sink in, it doesn't get any bigger than that. Finally, you might be very pleased to know that there is as well in-depth marketing plan. And we use our funds in the, in the uh, in the proper ways. We focused on token engineering and marketing. That involves regular press coverage, 
video updates, uh, editorial updates or even conferences and events. What we haven't yet talked about is their token DAG. So let's go to it. DAG is a native cryptocurrency and utility token of the Constellations network. It's used for the transaction and data validation and also of course by staking you provide the liquidity. At top of all this, DAG represents tokenized bandwidth allowing you to monetize data streams between businesses. The token distribution table is as follows. There does not seem to be any rapid token unlock incoming. And now I always do a little bit of the technical analysis on reviews, always giving you two long term areas, one buy area and one sell area. The buy, the long term buy area is actually where we already were. Two and a half cents and between six cents. That's literally when we were in June. And we are approaching it again. As for the sell area, I can see multiple untested weeks and weekly closers around 14 cents, which also happens to be like the middle of the structure we created since 2021. So this is my guess where lots of people are gonna take tons of profits. Let's have a look at the Constellations community. Constellation lacks Discord and posting on its Reddit was permission only until a few days ago. The community is however active elsewhere, including Twitter and Telegram. Telegram is where I engage with the community for the feedback and I got some good ones. I got forwarded to the reworked website, which is super cool looking, taking you through core concepts of DAG with ease. For instance, you can quickly learn that HGTP is protocol which allows the creation of new networks atop of DAG. I have also come across multiple pricing blog posts or even tons of upbeat fan made videos which just underlines how well done the marketing in Constellation is. However, my review is independent and wouldn't be complete without my critical opinion. Throughout my reviewing work, one thing pops up over and over. Different projects solving the same problems in different ways. Solana has captured uh, a, a, a huge, huge market around creating crypto application. Mentioning and comparing to other competing projects is an excellent idea. Constellation should compare itself with, for instance, parallel sharding projects or those with layer zero capabilities. Just for comparison, let's quickly compare some of the DAX features to the features of other projects I have reviewed. Orion Portal serving as developer marketplace is similar idea than dev to dev marketplace Radix is working on. Parachains of DAG attached to the security provided by global protocol whereas Chromia anchors blocks in major proof of work blockchain for the very same reason, security. DAG serves as layer zero infrastructure for other blockchains you can build on it just like Chromia. Horizontal scaling has DAG as well as Chromia. Radix also possesses legal-like composability, which is super convenient. Our vision has always been around building this world-class data exchange. Data Marketplace is already built and running on Alliance Block as Data Tunnel. These were only a few points from the top of my head, giving you the argument that Constellation DAG might be the first, but it's not unprecedented and unparalleled, just like this fan-made article claims. Last but not least, just as I think Radix project being too British, I think DAG is too American. I consider the lack of internationalization an issue and I think the lead composition should underline that crypto is global and fanceless. I have studied and reviewed at least two more as genius and as promising platforms as Constellation DAG is. However, DAG 
is the first up and running and has an involvement of deep learning AI within its consensus. Hello, I'm the Centralized Dave. Thank you for watching my review. I have a documentary background and I generally love making these independent reviews. Don't forget to have a look at my Luxo review that I love making very much.